Hello dear friends, and this is your Humphreys. I'm glad again that you've tuned in on me. I just want to bring you a little short 10 minute message. And it's entitled, Learn to be happy wherever you are, whatever's going on. Learn to be happy in all situations. And so whatever you're facing today, wherever you are, whatever's going on in your life, learn to be happy. Learn to have peace. Learn to accept the things that are facing you and know that you're in the will of God and you're walking by faith, trusting the Lord. Knowing that you belong to Jesus, you're saved by grace. You're bought by the blood and you belong to the Lord. And when that happens, and when you pray and seek to do that which pleases Him, you can know that you're where you are by, by the grace of God. And so learn to be happy wherever you are. The Bible says over in the book of, uh, of, <coughs> of uh, uh, Matthew, and, and it's a, this is a good, good uh, word for us. Jesus said, Lay not for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Oh, praise the Lord. We're tempted to do that because money is uh, can buy just about every, anything down here on this earth it becomes very important to us and money is important and it's a good thing to have some money money can be a blessing it can be used for good things you need to make a, enough money and possibly to set aside and, and, and save a little for emergencies it's good to be, make enough money that you pay all your bills and be able to function properly but do not allow money to become your master because it's a very hard master. Money will not help you when you really need it. Money cannot buy the things that you really need to help you as a Christian. For instance, the Bible says, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where the moth and rust do not corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So you see the thing that's important about the possessions in this life is that they indicate your pos uh, position of your heart. And you need to have a godly heart, a new heart. A new heart that God has given you. A new heart that you received when you became a Christian. And it's a heart where the Spirit of God dwells. Where the Lord Jesus lives in your heart. And we need to recognize that where your treasure is, there is your heart. And so let your treasure be Jesus. Let your treasure be the Holy Spirit. Let the treasure be your home in heaven. And that's the important thing that money cannot buy. Money cannot buy many things. Money cannot buy real love. Money cannot buy real peace. Jesus gives it to you. He said, My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, <clears throat> but let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. And then he gives love. The Bible says, But the love of God is spread abroad in your heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. The love of God is given to you by the Holy Spirit when you believe in Jesus. And then you have God's love, and it's not for sale. You can't buy it. You can't buy salvation. You can't buy the fact that you are saved and born in heaven. You can't buy that. That comes as a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. And so it is. You can't buy the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not for sale. Jesus said, I give unto you uh, another comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. He will be with you always. He will give it to you. It's, and so the things that we receive from God are priceless. The Word of God. The Word of God. We need to <clears throat> recognize how important the Word of God is. The Word of God that teaches us the things that we need to know and do. It's, the Bible says in Psalms, the Word of God is better than gold, much fine gold. Amen. It's better. It's better. The Bible says in Matthew 4th chapter, the Bible of the Word, it is written, Man shall not live by bread only, but by every word of God. And so you see how important it is that we look at the things which you can't see more than the things that you can see. 
Over in the book of 2 Corinthians, in the fourth chapter, it says, Fix your eyes not upon the things which you can see, but what are unseen. Because the things you can see are only temporary, but the things which are unseen are eternal. And so you see, you can't see heaven, but it's real and waiting for you. You can't see God, but He's there. He's with you right now, and He loves you very much. Oh, and you're going to see Him one day. And you're going to be with Him one day forever. Jesus said, Oh, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions and rooms, and I go and prepare a place for you. That where I am, I want you to know that I'm coming back. And, uh, be, and, and therefore you'll be with me for where I am I want you to be also and so the Lord has gone to prepare a place for us hallelujah and those things are better than what we can buy and so be happy with what you've got dear Christian be happy with what you've got be happy and even be thankful the Bible says a good word over in in uh, First Thessalonians in the 5th chapter verse 18 it says, Give thanks for everything in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Give thanks. <clears throat> Give thanks in all circumstances. <clears throat> this is God's will concerning you. Thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. For well, things that you love and appreciate. Praise the Lord. Thank God. I thank God that I'm still able to speak and able to get put these messages on the YouTube. At my age, I'm still going, and God is still my strength, and He's my refuge. And in, <clears throat> underneath are the everlasting arms. Amen. And so I'm speaking to similar, somebody right now listening to this, and you're wondering how in the world you're going to live another few days or weeks. Let me tell you, you live one day at a time for God, and you find that He's your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And he will hold you. You're safe. You're going to make it. You keep going. God is going with you. And so we see then that we ought to be happy. Give thanks for all things in all circumstances. Whatever your circumstance may be, thank God. Because in it and through it, God is working. And he's working out things for his own glory and for your good. For your good. Amen. Give thanks. Be thankful. Oh, praise the Lord for His goodness. God is so faithful. God is so faithful. Great is Thy faithfulness. Oh, great is Thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed Thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto me. Amen. And his faithfulness is great unto you. Hold on. God's got great things for you. And you that are not Christians, and you're thinking about it, you want to be sure you're going to heaven. I want you to know that the Lord will save you and forgive you of every sin if you believe in Jesus Christ. He's the only way to heaven. And so the Bible says he's the only way. There's no other name given, um, uh, given among men under heaven except the name of Jesus Christ, Acts the fourth chapter. And so we need to see the fact that Jesus alone can save us. And whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So call on him and you'll be saved from a devil's hell and you'll live forever with the God of heaven and your loved ones. And so pray a prayer and just ask God to forgive you. Ask Jesus to come into your heart and help you and, and ask him to help, uh, help you to live for him. Ask him to come in and believe that he died for you and paid for all your sins on Calvary and that he rose again and he's coming back. Ask him to come in your life and make you a Christian, that you believe in him and trust him right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find you a good church and praise God, worship with God's people. And so may the Lord bless you, dear friend. And may you learn, may all of us learn to be happy with what we've got, where we are. Oh, it's important. It pleases God, and you'll find peace. In the name of Jesus, our beloved Lord, amen and amen.